that is less crowded on the road to success oh, than, the, than the road to mediocrity. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen a Nike bowling shoe? Literal bowling shoe. Like, you're, you're kidding me. Like, this is a freaking antique at its finest. Like, come on, Nike. Come on, bring them back. Bring them bad boys back. There's new technology out here. Y'all can take over the game. I mean, we got the Dexters, of course, but come on, bro. And then a rubber freaking rolling ball. AMF classic roll. And y'all about to see me roll with this thing. Like, crazy, bro. Like, of course, I use two hands because it's not the right span. And it's, I think it's make drill for it like a lefty. But, like, bro, a freaking classic. Ooh, my hand actually. <laughs> but a classic rubber bowling ball. This day has just gotten better and better. My goodness. Y'all about to see me, man. All right, YouTube. Uh, I might as well give you a little bit of a rundown on how this video came to be and what exactly is going on okay so i was at the bowling alley we had just finished the tournament uh yeah i didn't place good i don't know what it is but i can't bowl no tap good at my regular house i don't know why i got a 146 in a game i, I don't i don't know but uh after no tap uh I talked to my pro shop owner, uh, well, the pro shop owner, uh, Sean Elliott, uh, of Elliott's Pro Shop. Check him out, Pokemon City, Maryland, East Shorelands. Uh, but, uh, I let him know that, uh, that phase AI, I need it, I need it. And I need a new bowling ball bag due to the fact that my motive one finally crapped out on me. Uh, the zipper just snapped off. So, and the zippers have been going bad like for a minute now so i was like i'm gonna need a new bag so he's like all right i'll write on more list da, da, da. and when we went back there and talking you know just a whole bunch of people just chopping up talking about bone there was a old classic rubber bone ball that somebody came and just dropped off wanted him to fix it but he was like nah, i don't mess with rubber i mean rubber is old school technology and i did some research and the only research i could find on it was that it was like thrown in the 1970s and I didn't, I guess there was such thing as like uh, soft rubber because this had like three, this was a three dot AMF classic pro roll and it had harder rubber on it uh, on, the, on the website where I found it. Every professional bowler has an arsenal of his own special weapons for special lane conditions. Now, you can have your own arsenal in just two bowling balls from AMF. The AMF 3 Dot Classic in hard rubber for normal lane conditions. And now, the AMF 3 Dot Classic in soft rubber for lanes that demand more traction. Hard rubber 3 Dot, soft rubber 3 Dot. The arsenal from AMF. Also, on this day, uh, a bowler by the name of Steve Jones, uh, older guy around his 70s, I do believe 60s or 70s, uh, he bowled against the Mark Roth on television. He went through the stepladder, but Mark Roth was the first seed, the number one seed, and I mean, he didn't win. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jones did not win. Uh, Mark Roth almost threw a 300 on him. And watching that classic bowling tape, it truly gave you a sense of how accurate bowlers back in the day were. Like, they didn't have the technology that, that we have now. Like, they had just the rubber ball or the urethane. That, that's it. And how Mark Ross was just so accurate and just boom, boom, boom. And I mean, his last shot, he got a little bit inside, so ended with a 299. But it was amazing to see, cool to see that uh, guy literally 
that bold mark off was at the tournament. Just, but anyways, yes, uh, I will be throwing in this video the AMF Classic Pro Roll, the rubber bowling ball. Let me tell you, I understand why Mr. Mark Roth and Steve Jones and all of them had to be so accurate because, oh my gosh, this ball ain't got no hook at all. <laughs> and I mean, I went from dur throwing during the tournament the Ion Max, which everyone knows is the hookiness bowling ball ever, like the strongest piece to throwing a freaking rubber bowling ball. And then on top of that, Nike bowling shoes. Nike freaking bowling shoes. Old school Nike bowling shoes. Like, Nike. I think it's about time y'all get back in the game. I think it's about time. Y'all need to come on. Come on, get back in the game. Y'all can take over, especially like Dexter's. You just put freaking the sides on the Air Force One. I'm pretty sure, and yeah, not pretty sure. I've seen Sarah Clarkson do it. I've seen another a woman up in Connecticut. She got a pair. I'm thinking about doing a pair. I already got what I need, uh, 3M Industrial uh, Velcro tape and some uh, Gorilla Super Glue. Uh, I just need to figure out what shoes I'm gonna do with. Uh, so, hmm, look out for that video. But uh, yeah, uh, here we go. Throwing the rubber bowling ball two-handed because I couldn't get my hand in it, couldn't get my thumb, my thumb was swollen anyway, but couldn't get my thumb in it and it just wasn't going to work out, so yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. This is just a out of the blue video, just a fun video. Enjoy.